Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Now in today's video, you guys already clicked on the thumbnail, so you already know what we're making, and obviously it's already in the background, but we're going to be building this very easy 16 array super smelter that you guys can build fairly early on. So let's just go ahead and skip past everything and get right into the build and keep this as simple and as short as possible so you guys can get this in your world right now. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what's actually going to be needed for this specific build and everything when then everything that you guys are going to need is right here in this chest. This is all you guys need. You guys can use whatever building block that you guys want. It doesn't necessarily need to be smooth stone, but everything else is highly recommended. Then obviously you have the stuff that we're going to be cooking up and the fuel that we're going to be using later. You guys can use whatever fuel source that you want for this super smelter and you can smelt whatever you would want. You can also change this up instead of using furnaces, you could use smokers or blast furnaces, depending on what your specific needs are for whatever you guys need a super smelter for. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this build right now. So the first thing that we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're going to put two chests right here at the end, and then we're going to go ahead and connect up 16 of the hoppers. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then on top of those, we're actually going to go ahead and put our 16 furnaces. So every hopper that you just got done placing, we're going to go ahead and place a furnace, a smoker, a blast furnace on top of that one. Now, as soon as you guys get done with that one, you're going to come around on either on the top or the back, and you're going to place uh, hoppers on the back and the top side of each of those furnaces, depending on which ones you guys got done placing down and then as soon as we're done with that we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step because this doesn't usually take too terribly long to go ahead and do now at the very end we're going to go ahead and use a couple pieces of our building blocks again you don't need to use smooth stone if you don't need to you're going to go two out and one up from those hopper line then two up and then one out and then break that one you're going to come down and do the exact same thing on this side so you're going to come out two one up and then two then one up just like that all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and place in our our um our rails you're going to put a powered rail and then you're going to leave this one open for a regular rail and now we're going to go ahead and place uh powered rails on the rest of the hopper line going all the way down the line and then once you get to this point you're going to go ahead and place a regular rail powered rail powered rail then regular rail and then the rest of these are going to be powered rail just like this and then somewhere in the middle you're going to take just your building block so right about here oh that looks pretty good and then on the back of that you're going to go ahead and put a lever and then go ahead and flip it on and then all of your powered rails should turn on you can also use a redstone block there if you guys would like now at the very end that doesn't have the chest, which should actually be this end, you're going to go ahead and place behind here. You're going to place one here and one there for levers. Flip those on, and then that will allow the minecarts to travel back. Now back over here at the beginning, you're going to go ahead and place in a chest just right here. And then also right here. The bottom one will be your fuel, and then the top one will be whatever you're going to be smelting, so your input. Then you're going to go ahead and place in your upper mine cards just like that. And then you, what you can do is you can place in a put lever there and a lever there. And then this one will actually send the back one. And then this one will send the top one. Then you just flip those off when you need those to be turned off. And that's all you guys really need to do. Now at this point in time, we can actually just go ahead and load in our our fuel and also whatever we're going to be smelting just give it a little bit of time this should actually pull it out of the chest really fast because the hopper mine carts do that then just go ahead and we're going to turn this one on first and we'll flip that one on and obviously since we're putting a stack in we got to let it do it four times so that's two then that's going to be three and then on the way back we'll actually go ahead and turn it off so we can turn those both off oh well, that's fine and then we can actually just go ahead and look right here and you'll see that we already have quite a few pork chops already coming in which is absolutely fantastic this 16 furnace super smelter furnace array should actually smelt a smelt a stack of 
pork chops or whatever you're smelting in less than a minute. It should take about 45 to 50 seconds, somewhere in that area. Now, obviously, if you're using a smoker for food, it's going to be even twice as fast. And if you guys are actually using a blast furnace for any type of stone related material, then it'll be twice as fast there as well. But you can't put, you know, food in a blast furnace and other products that aren't capable with a smel smelter. So that's why I still like to just use furnaces in all of my super smelters in all of my designs. But that literally is everything, guys. That's both furnaces done less than eight minutes worth of a building very easy for you guys to hopefully understand it doesn't take a lot of resources to go ahead and do this honestly i love it i make a super smelter in pretty much all of my worlds and if you guys want some of the bigger super smelters that i do make here uh in my on my channel or just in my survival worlds then by all means then make sure that you guys are leaving a comment down below so that i can go ahead and put something out like that for you guys um i've come up with quite a few designs over the years and i Love all of them very, very much. But anyway, hopefully this does help you guys out. And if it does, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And honestly, if you guys need any suggestions on building, like building just in general in Minecraft, I've got a lot of tutorials about different building designs that you guys can go ahead and get started with very early on in your survival worlds, whether it be on an SP or solo. Whatever works just fine. But I appreciate you guys for stopping by. And we'll see you guys next time. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.